Today we're repurposing a fall sign from Dollar Tree. Keep watching. Welcome back y'all. We're going to use some items from the Dollar Tree. This was a fall sign. The little pumpkins. It had a stake. I pulled it off. These are some felt sticker hearts. And then we have a sign here that is just a fabric sign. So we're gonna cover up this farm fresh pumpkins on the tailgate. I'm just gonna take a little quick measurement here, just showing you, be sure that you measure it. Obviously my ruler was not in the correct spot. And then I wanna use the word love off of the sign, so I am going to cut this section off. I'm going to use the rest of the sign for other projects, so don't throw it away. All right, I'm trying to make a straight line here to cut this out so that we can fit it on the tailgate of that truck. Just gonna trim it down and don't be worried if you cut off the little, the little um, stitching thing there because you can fix that. I'm gonna fix mine. And I'm just trying to decide, did I want to leave the red on? Did I want to trim off the red? But in order to get it to fit in that tailgate area, I went ahead and trimmed that down. So there we go, we have a new tailgate. Now I'm going to take this glass marker pen that I got from Dollar Tree, which I love by the way, very good quality, and just go ahead and put the stitching back on this sign. I didn't measure it, I just kind of freehanded it. Didn't count or anything, just, you know, it's a craft. We don't have to be exact. Now you can't even tell. So now I'm going to put something in the back of that truck to cover up all of those pumpkins. And these hearts are great. I decided to just go with the red and the white. And I'm going to start peeling these off and placing them down. It's okay to go ahead and overlap the little tailgate area there because you want it to look like they're sitting in the back of the truck, not floating above it but you do what you want to do. Just gonna go along there and add them on. And one thing you should know about the white ones is that once you take the backing off, they're pretty sheer, pretty thin. So you may want to double up on those stickers so that you don't see what's underneath it. And it makes a, a bolder color, I think, when you can't see through it. You see there, I don't want to see that. So I'm just gonna double those up and they'll be fine. They'll cover up those pumpkins because I don't want to see pumpkins again until much later in the year, right? Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep adding these and stacking and staggering these so the pumpkins are covered until I get as many on there as I want to put. I'm also going to go back, I think I lost a little footage, and add in some of the smaller hearts on top of some of the larger hearts just to give it a little more dimension. I love stickers. I have loved stickers since I was a little girl. Since way, way back in elementary school, I had sticker books and I had scratch and sniff and I had holographic stickers and puppy stickers. You know, if you were a kid in the 80s, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna put some behind, some in front, gonna do some layering there. Again, it's about giving it some dimension and so that all your little elements will stand out. Now you see where I have added some layers there and I've got the back of my truck bed looking like I'm spreading some love. All right, the stickers are overhanging a little bit. So to keep them from sticking on everything and pulling off, I'm just gonna go back and pull some of those backings off, just some little scraps and add those to cover that up. You can just use paper or whatever you wanna use, but this way it's not sticking on anything. Okay, so some of the felt has little fuzzies on it, and that's just what I trimmed off there. You pull off your little fuzzy pieces to make it nice and neat. And then now, I'm going to put the tailgate back on and see how it overlaps some of those. Now it makes it look like the hearts are sitting in the back of the truck. That is the look I am going for. So now I know where I'm going to put it, and I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue on there. Some thin lines but enough to hold it in place, just in case I wanna use this truck again. Gonna center it as much as I can, just by looking at it and place it down. 
Now you could leave it like this if you wanted to, put a hanger on it, hang it on the wall. But I'm feeling a little extra today, so I thought I might trim it out with a little bit of jute. But honestly, once I got the jute on there, it's so thin against the thickness of the that fabric sign that it almost disappears in there. You really can barely see it. So be really careful with your glue. It makes a mess if you get it over there on those felt stickers. That's what you saw me doing was just kind of pick that off. I got a little mess on the side. And for y'all who noticed that it was crooked there, that I didn't have a good straight edge, you're welcome. I've just fixed that for you. It would have drove me nuts, to be honest. Okay, so now I'm just going to keep going around the entire border of this carefully so that I don't make a mess on all my pretty little hearts up there that I worked so hard on. Just keep dotting that along there. How's everybody feeling today? We good? How many of my subscribers have been sick over the holiday season and quarantine? I'd kind of like to know since we were so late in the year getting it. I mean, right before New Year's, I actually was coming out of quarantine right after New Year's. So I'm just kind of curious to know who all has been sick. And bless your heart if you have, and I mean that sincerely, not in a snooty way. I feel your pain. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna add, because I didn't like that it was just really not showing up that well. And I'm gonna add some of this yarn that came from Dollar Tree. So, so far, everything came from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to make my border here with this fuzzy yarn. I'm going to start always in the corner. It seems to be better for me to start in the corner unless you're planning on embellishing um, somewhere on the sides. Then you can cover your seam. But if I do it in the bottom corner, it doesn't seem quite as noticeable. So as I'm pulling this along and placing it down, I'm trying to keep the twist in it so that it doesn't go flat. I'm trying to keep the texture. So you see how it's the pieces that are twisted together. I'm just trying to keep them twisted to make it look like a rope. Continue around your corner. Make sure that it is set up before you go on so you don't have rounded edges. And just tap that down right next to that jute. It's just snug right up to the jute. Again, make sure that your corner is in place. Just, you just press that corner down good and then trim it closely to the to the edge. I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to tack that down and kind of twist it together while the glue is still wet. And that'll keep my corner in place. So now I want to add a little bow on here and I'm going to double up with a little red and a little white, both of these from Dollar Tree again, and just make up a, a simple little shoelace bow. This is probably mm, 14 inches maybe of um, yarn and to see this is just a really simple bow of course i'm distracted so i didn't tuck both of them in the loop at the same time but you you get what i'm doing here okay there we go and you can make your bow however big or small that you want to make it i think this is good you can place it on the bottom of the tailgate you can place it in the middle of the top you can put it on the side. You can trim the tails. You can leave them long. You do whatever gives you some joy. And you know how I am. For some reason, I always kind of favor the left-hand corner for my bows and my embellishments. That's just my thing for some reason. It looks good to me. So there it is, off to the side. Pretty little bow. And I think that the texture of the bow with the texture of the felt hearts is a really good combination. I'm going to leave the backing on both of these stickers and I'm going to put a little hot glue on there, attach those together just so it'll give them a little um, stiffness so that they don't, they want to, I want them to stand up on the bow and not like curve down and disappear into that bow. Now I'm going to put a red one and a white one, the smaller sizes, in the right corner of the tailgate. Felt like it needed something to balance the other side. And at this point, if you wanted to stop, you certainly could, but I don't wanna hang mine. I wanna make this a freestanding sign. So I'm going to use some tower pieces and some of these little square wooden pieces that come from the Dollar Tree crafting section. And I'm gonna make a stand for this. 
Now, because the wheels are narrow and I don't want my stand to show, I'm placing these uh, rectangle pieces long ways instead of side to side. And then I'm going to support those with glue on two sides of the square and press them right up against that rectangle piece and the sign. That's gonna give it some additional support so that you can stand out on a table or a narrow shelf. Lots of people have those, um, if you have the farmhouse style, you have those narrow shelves and this will fit nicely there. So you see, I just have it propped up for uh, the camera purposes, but you can just set that up on your table or wherever you like. If you work, you can put it on your desk. It'll be a cute little reminder to just let love rule. Valentine's Day is less than a month away, so you better get your stuff together, people. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.